All right, folks, this is Dexter. He's the young Bouvier. I can't remember if Dexter's seven, eight, or nine months old. He's the one with the pretty serious anxiety, poops in the crate, scared of everything, scared of absolutely everything. So I'm spending the first week literally just trying to teach him how to be a dog, you know, and he'll get there. It's just gonna take a little time. He has not pooped in the crate since he's here one time. So he's come a long way there. Today's gonna be his first e-collar session. We're just starting the e-collar work. And uh, again, he's a dog that's scared of everything, absolutely everything. And this is going to help him. By the time he leaves here, he's gonna be much better off. I'm not even worried about it. But let's just see how he reacts in the beginning, okay? I haven't even searched for his level yet. I am using the sound box so you guys can hear when I'm using the, the e-collar. I don't like using it because the dog hears it too and that could create a unnecessary distraction but I know you guys like to hear it so I will go ahead and use it and then after this session I won't use it anymore with him okay so let me bring it a little closer to the camera so you guys can hear it hopefully I put it right here leave that back there don't knock it over all right and so I haven't done anything yet I'm just gonna search for his level okay See why I don't like using it when they hear it they're gonna look for it that's okay he'll he'll catch on to it real quick so we're gonna start there all right everyone's gonna say well what level is he working on it doesn't matter guys but he's on a number six on the mini educator and that's very very average for most dogs most dogs work right around there and remember we want to start off with the lowest level sensation that the dog perceives that's it we, we want him to not even be sure that he's feeling something, all right? All right. Ready to go. Dexter, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, Dexter. Good boy. We're just going to take our time, too. in his step I've seen since he's here. That's great. Okay, good. So if he's going to stay at my side, okay, we build that momentum. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. Good job, Dexter. That's, that's great. That's hysterical. This is the most activity in life I've seen from him. That is terrible, terrible right there to see that. That is terrible for the, the, the what we like to call, not the purely positive anti-e-collar people, but the, what did we call them yesterday? The perpetual pretenders. Ooh, that, that's terrible for them because we're just, we're annihilating this dog and he's bouncy, booty shaking, and he's so happy. Dexter, come. Yes, oh my gosh. You're gonna make the perpetual pretender so angry, Dexter, so angry. Don't do that. Don't look happy. Don't look excited. No, no don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. So we're gonna use the recall and the place command. Go away from me, right from the start, okay? Because he knows the place command well. We've been doing everything just with markers and Lauren, okay? Right there. Dex, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, Dex. Next place. Yes. Very nice. I'm very, very happy about that. Good job, Dexter. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. What? Come. Yes. Good boy, Dex. Come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, buddy. And we take our time, okay? That's very nice. But you see his reaction, guys. 
to the tool that they want to ban all over the world so we can lose more and more dogs. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. Good job. Way to go, pal. It's insane. It's absolute insanity. It really is. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. Good job. Dexter, place. Yes. Good boy. Very nice. Good job. Good. Good. Good boy, Dexter. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dex? Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Good boy. So you see, he doesn't have to be far away, guys. If he's right in front of you, not a problem. Dex, come. Yes. Good boy. Good job. You hear Mango in there. She's not happy right now. Dex, come. Yes. Good boy. Oh, look, the... He did that when I watched him as a puppy, remember the little paw? The damn perpetual pretenders are gonna be like, that means he's hurting inside and, and he, he doesn't have a decision in this and he's, he's so in much pain. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy, good boy. Now let me remind you folks, this is a dog that struggles with serious anxiety, that is scared of everything. When we come out here, he can't even poop when he's on the leash because he's scared and looking around. Right now, he's not focused on anything except me, and he's having a good time. Go figure, right? Go figure. That confusion in the beginning with these fearful, anxious dogs does wonders. It lets them forget about everything bad in the world that they think is out there and lets them focus on this new, strange sensation, this new confusion that's going to build him into a very strong dog. I guarantee it. And I've shown it over and over and over for years. But the perpetual pretenders show nothing. They show nothing but make claims and allow dogs to die. Nothing positive about killing dogs, people. Nothing. What do you think, boy? What do you think? Dexter, please. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Dexter. That's my boy. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Dexter, come. Yes. Good boy! You do that. You do that. You do that. Oh! Don't, don't play. You're angering the perpetual pretenders. Don't play. Don't play. This is not supposed to be fun. What? <laughs> Remember, people, dogs can't lie. They're the most truthful beings on the planet. They cannot lie. What does that look like to you? What do you think? What do you think? Oh. Good boy. Good job. So I'm gonna reward that. When he starts offering behaviors, he's gonna get rewarded. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy, pal. Good boy. All right. Good job. time and I'll give him everything in my pouch okay next come yes that's a good boy pal that's a good boy have at it good boy and really that's it folks that's the length of his first session I'm done that's it. 
you know then he'll go relax half hour I'll take him out again do it again this is the very first time he's feeling that he doesn't know what it is there's confusion there it's our job to teach him what it means but there's not an individual on the planet okay unless you're a complete moron that can look at this dog and say he's only doing things because he's being forced to he's in pain he's suffering come on man cut the bullshit just just end it okay the perpetual pretenders are killing dogs left and right with their ignorance and the fraudulent claims that they make for the everyday dog population Dexter come yes I think I got one in here go get it good job really important guys you know really important we got to use the tool properly we got to use it humanely and we all have the opportunity to save dog after dog after dog that otherwise would be given up and being killed. And again, there's nothing positive about killing dogs. Peace.